Hi, Charles here. I haven't slept a wink since these people came the first time. It's just been destroying me. Well, it's been annoying me, let's put it that way, that I didn't fix them up completely. But I had a brainstorm, and let me tell you about it. Thanks for watching. I found a solution. I found that the original um, brake thing that I wanted to work, and it does work except for the running light. So I took a chance. I ordered another one just to see if it was defective. It wasn't. Same thing. So then I ordered a different one, which I will link below, um, and I tried it at the, well, let me just do this. Okay, hit the brake, here, turn on your headlights. We've got running lights. Turn signals. There's left, there's right, and hit the brake. Thank you, sir. So, in case you're wondering, the running light is the dimmest light okay it it's on people can see it but it doesn't get that super bright till you are turn do a turn signal the warning thing or brakes okay so I'm gonna move up front and tell you what you need to do if you want to do what we're doing now our new friends I said I'm not putting the new one on so he's he's watched how I did it which is super simple and he'll clean it and all that and uh, so I'm gonna plug him back in here in a second so let me explain to you what I did if you want to do this same similar thing and a couple of other options let's go to the front and i'll show you all righty susie's trying to be movie director back there okay so um don't make the several critical errors that i made what i did was i just assumed and maybe why not but anyway i assumed that that strip light from nylight and there's nothing wrong with it but apparently it only works with some vehicles and i know it works with the ford because I have that on my Ford Transit, works perfectly. I didn't have to do anything snazzy with grounding or anything. It just plug and play, it worked. But um, I even contacted Nylite and I heard back from them today and they asked something about a ground, but I don't think that's the issue, but it's, it's a nice product, no problem with it. So since I did this first install, uh, it just bugged me. I wanted to try to find a solution. And so, I realized that I should have gone step by step before I installed. And so here's what I did. And this is what you need to do. If you want to put this on yours, buy something. <laughs> if you have a Ford, I think the Nylite one would work. Um, if it doesn't, send it back to Amazon or take it back to AutoZone and try another one. Okay. And so this is a GMC truck. It's a Sierra. And so what I did was they just got here and I unplugged everything, factory wiring, the Y connector that I showed you last time so that we could plug two things in. I unplugged it and I said, if it doesn't work directly from the truck, this is going back to Amazon. And so I plugged it in and as soon as I plugged it in, he already had the headlights on, it lit up. I had running lights, brake lights, turn signal. It worked perfectly. So then I, un I unplugged it, plugged the vehicle back in and, and now it's plugged into the Y connector. And it's, one is going to the factory wiring, which I still have not touched. I will have to tell you that the owner accidentally cut one of his own factory wires doing something under there. But I didn't. <laughs> it's taped. He fixed it. I just have to tell on him. Um, then I, um, so I plugged into the Y connector that was feeding the extension that goes back there. I plugged it in. We're good. Last test, I went back there and plugged it into the other end. Of, I mean, I, it had to work, but I, uh, I, so I plugged into the, y, to the, in, the extension in the back. It, we're golden. Everything works. That's what I should have done. Instead, I just assumed and started installing. So if you decide to try this, first make sure that the strip light you get works here. Then try the Y connector to make sure you didn't get a defective Y connector. And then plug it into the extension. Have it all sitting here. Don't wire it up. Don't do anything. Get it all here once you're done because it doesn't affect the factory wiring, which I will now, I now have said 3,000 times between the last video and this video. But, um, so there you go. This does work. So he's going to be installing when he gets back home and everything should work just fine. Um, so he's just going to have to peel off the other one, clean the silicone, put it up, feed the wires back down. He will be fine. Um, and then, 
a couple quick other options. If you don't like that long, that's a 25 foot extension. And if you don't like the fact that it's a bundle tied up, I, it doesn't bother anything. But if that does bother you, find someone or go to a place that does RVs or works on trailers and say, hey, I need a custom one and measure from here to there. And I'm going to measure, so I'll throw that in um, at the end of the video or someplace. I'll tell you roughly what you should get for a range runner from here to here with an extra foot or two. Well, let me interject right here. We did measure and roughly... It was like 12 feet from the very back of the runaway up to where you would plug it in. So if you would allow an extra foot or two, like say 14, 15 feet, you would be fine. If you can find one that's pre-made that way or get a custom one made, make sure you give yourself enough extra. Uh, but honestly, uh, the only one I have found, and I haven't looked real hard, was at Home Depot that had the two ends molded, plugged, done. All the others require you to... Um, splice them, wire them into that plug and it can be done. I've just never done one of those. So either just, I would say just buy that. It's not expensive and you can just bundle it up or get a custom one made. Make sure they measure so you'll have enough so it's not too tight. All right, now back to the video. But anyway, you do your own measuring and get a custom uh, flat four pin uh, wire harness and then you're good. Okay, and then um, if you've gone to that extent then you, you might consider having someone run you some extra wiring um, from this and have it on up on, above the window. But I think it's I guess it works fine underneath it. So there you go. Just make sure that you check all along the way. And if this doesn't work from your vehicle, stop. Do not do not go past go. go. Just get another one and try it, and you'll find one that fits. Okay. So apparently. It's not one size fits all. That's all I can say. So there you go. I'm so happy when that lit up and now they'll have running lights plus everything else. So there you go. Oh, and they use their, their underglow lights. I asked them when they pulled up, I said, did you, use it? did you do the seizure inducing? She said, just for a little bit. So one of them got to choose one night they had red underneath. The other night they had blue underneath. So uh, the underglow thing is, is pretty cool. Your life, as I said in last video, your life will be complete without it. But when we were at Mammoth Cave, uh, last week it was just nice coming back from the bathroom at 4 or 4.30 in the morning and you could see off in the not too far distance you could see our uh, our transit but it wasn't lighting up the area whatsoever so there you go I found a solution do the steps that I did and I think it'll be fine and thanks for watching <laughs>